Hey everyone, Mark Price here at devslopes.com and welcome back to the Mongo Party. We are doing some really cool stuff here and I forgot to mention that the things you're doing here in the shell are actually real commands that interface with the database. So though I said, yeah, it's not likely you're going to be working with the shell uh, in a uh, on your live database, uh, you will be doing these commands. Every command here we're doing from find to insertions, okay, those are the things that uh, have to be called in order to work with the database. And so those libraries we're going to be using, like Mongoose, which helps us interface with the database, calls directly into the things that we're doing here. So this is very important to know. So we've talked about inserting records. We've talked about finding all of them. You can find all records with the find command. What about finding a specific one? Well, it's not that hard to do either. So we can say db.products.find. Okay. And what we do is we want, we put in some uh, criteria for the search, okay? So whereas when we did an insert, okay, we the first uh, curly braces that we put in there, that's the data you're inserting. But in the case of a find, the first uh, object or curly braces you put in is for the criteria of the search. And so if we want to search by the ID, okay, we can do that like so. So we want to say find, and let's say underscore ID, and what do we want to search for? Well, we want to search for an object ID. Let's say this red car. So we're going to copy this whole thing with the parentheses and everything. And we're going to paste it here, closing curly braces and closing parentheses. And there it goes. It found the red car for us. So the criteria we put in was, hey, we want to find it by the ID. Well, what else can we search for? Well, we can also find it by any of the other criteria as well, too. So let's say we want to find um, a product name where it's uh, equal to blue car. Okay. So what we can do is dp.products.find, okay, where product name is equal to blue car, like so, and it found it, which is kind of cool. What if we have um, more than one thing that we want to find? We want to find. So what we can do is let's insert a new record. So db.products.insert, okay, and we want to Go ahead and insert, let's say uh, product name is pink car, okay? And we want a price on it. Let's say the price is five, like so. Okay, so we just inserted one. Now let's say we want to find all objects or all documents where uh, the price is equal to five. Well, we know that we have two in our database now. So we can say db.products.find. Okay, where price is equal to five. And since there's more than one, I'm going to say dot pretty. And, oops, it found, you know what? It's because our other one was 5.00. Oh, you no, know, it's because it says price instead of sell price. That's our problem. I spelled it wrong here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try this again. Let's insert a new one. See, again, you're already seeing just by... This is this is a good a few learning points here. One is working directly with the shell is not a good idea because you can misspell things like I did and it, it destroys your database, it puts bad data in there. And that's that's the biggest no no you could ever do. There's two there's two things that you can never you never want to have happen in your applications. One is some type of crash or failure, and number two is uh, loss of data integrity. And just by manually entering stuff in here, uh, we are uh, losing that integrity. So let's do this again, okay, and uh, this time. I wanted the sell price. Um, okay. Again, our data is kind of bad now, but that's okay. Uh, the point is, we want to find all objects. Oh, and we want to find all objects where the sell price is five dollars. There we go. Okay. So db.products.find where sell price is equal to five dollars. And now there's multiple products. Okay. So when you do a search, there's one. Uh, if there's one object, it'll find one. If there are more than one, uh, you can find more than one. Now, if you only want to find one, you can just do db.products.find one and do the exact same thing, and it'll only bring you one, the first one that it finds, okay? Really cool stuff here. Now, let's say we want to update something, okay? Let's say that red car there, we want to change the price from 1259 to something else. How do we do that? How do we run an update? Well, db.products.find, so or dot .update, excuse me. The first thing we need to do is find it, though. So the first criteria in this case is going to be the search criteria. So we're going to say where product name, okay, is equal to, 
And which one do we want to update? We wanted to update the red car. Yep. So let's find the red car. So again, the first criteria inside the curly braces is the search criteria. Okay, then a comma. Okay, now we need to set uh, the fields that we want to change. Okay, so we're going to do another curly brace and then the keyword dollar sign set. Now the dollar sign represents that this is a, um, a special Mongo command inside of these uh, curly braces here. So we're going to set, and what do we want to set on the red car? We want to change the price. So we're going to say price is now going to be equal to 359. So, you know, something just went on sale, the manufacturer, you know, says we need to get, get rid of these, so we lowered the prices, whatever. And uh, so what have we done here? db.products.update, we find the product that we want to update, the criteria, so I'll find all red cars, where product name is red car, and then a comma, and then we specify the things that we want to change. So uh, the curly brace set and this, it's a common, common rookie mistake to uh, omit these outer curly braces, they just put set here, but you need to have curly brace, then set, and then the object that you want to set. And so if we press enter, okay, it matched one. It didn't insert any new ones, but it did modify one. Okay, so now if we do db.products.find, okay, where product name is equal to red car, okay, the price is now 359. So what we've done here is we've just updated a document, okay? It's pretty simple stuff, very similar to when we worked with APIs. We uh, often do uh, CRUD operations, create, read, update, and post. Similar here with Mongo database, we're inserting things, we're updating things, okay? It's pretty straightforward, it's not too bad. Once you've done this a few times, it becomes pretty easy to work with. So uh, let's go ahead and call this video done. We've talked about finding by a certain criteria, we've talked about finding all, we've talked about getting objects and updating. We've also shown the dangerous or how dangerous it is to be uh, inside your database messing with stuff. That's very dangerous stuff and you would never ever ever want to do that on a live database. In fact, if you worked at a company and you somehow got into their live database and the senior engineer found out, uh, you'd probably get fired. It's very very bad stuff. So, uh, And you saw that firsthand as we're playing around with things in here. We misspelled something and it destroys our data integrity. Um, and as it, just to show that, db.products.find, just find all, okay? Find all the products, okay? Dot pretty. Um, we've just got some wonky stuff in here now. So price, sell price, five, pink car, two pink car, like just there's, there's problems, right? Okay, don't, don't go into your live databases. It's okay for your test databases, but not for your live. So that's it for now. Mark Price at devslopes.com. Let's keep moving forward.